Like, I don't be want to try to sound biased in the interview because that ain't a good energy, but everybody knows what's going on. Yeah. But from what I'm seeing, like, for somebody that claims like they not a rap, you got like a lot of rap qualities. Like, nah, for real. Uh, it, it, it get hot over here. Let me go throw him under the bus. They yeah, know I got no, surgery. Let me go real. expose all the other rappers. No, for real. You it know? ain't even like, you didn't even have to say it. I'm pretty sure people even like peep it, especially me doing this interview now. Like, I, I hope y'all can see by now. I hope. But that's the thing about that whole situation. And y'all, the thing is that I really didn't care if he was a rat. Like, if he was a rat, I don't care. I'm not a street girl at all by any means. If that man want to do some rat stuff and change his name and be Stanley, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Stanley Smith, Shoot, I mean, I ain't, I'm not saying I, I, I agree to him doing illegal stuff, but I'm saying if that was his past situation. As long as moving forward, he ain't doing nothing crazy, like, or illegal or whatever, I don't, I'm not a street girl, I don't care. Like, I'll, the thing about me is I will, like, accept any of Kevo's flaws that happened in the past. Just don't be doing that stuff in the present. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the thing is, is that I didn't want to, like, voice my opinion on that snitch situation because, like I said, I ain't no street girl, but... He just got too many qualities that give off snitch. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, he has way too many qualities. And honestly, like, even when that live, when, when I had cried on live and it had went viral, I remember him telling me, calling me or whatever personally, and saying like, um, you got police is all in your comments. And I'm just like, huh? Cause like I said, I don't do street stuff. So I'm confused on what he's talking about. He like, you got police is all in your comments. Um, if they say I did something or whatever, if they give me, I'm a lie and say you did something with me. Kevin ain't never in his life said nothing like that to me, like ever. And I didn't own this man for like six years. After he said that, I didn't know who I was talking to. I'm, like, I honestly don't, really, I don't know if Kevin had sold his soul for some money type. Cause I, he never, never went that far to say something like that to me. And I just, after that, I just knew I couldn't trust him. Cause I'm just like, why would you lie? First of all, I wasn't even around you. So whatever, if he was doing anything, which I can't confirm or whatever, cause I never was around him. Why would you still lie? You know what I'm saying? And especially, why would you try to lie on me when you know, like, I'm the only one who was really here for you when you had to do your case? Because to be honest, his case with that car, that bank fraud stuff, I wasn't around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the time, like, that case ain't had nothing to do with me. I didn't have to, like, prove my loyalty to him. He wasn't even my baby daddy at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have to make sure I sent this man money every week. Like, that was just off some, I, I have, like, a high loyalty. Like, I have, I'm very loyal. And I had, like, a love for him. So I'm just like, I'll hold him down, you know? Yeah. But yeah, definitely with that snitch stuff, it's like, who who just, if you wasn't a snitch, why would you even say something like that to your, your baby mama? Like, I'm his wife, but he don't claim me as his wife, so I'm gonna just say baby mama, you know? I don't claim him as my husband either, though. Like, just so we clear. We still waiting on that paperwork, man. <clears throat> you <know>? Honestly. <laughs> It don't take $400,000 and that's what I'm saying. You like, just, or not. It's just like, you can just put it in. And I ain't, like I said, I didn't want to touch base on this because then it's probably gonna make it sound like I'm biased. Like I'm here to say like if he's a rat or not. And I, honestly, that's so not the point of this interview. But I just, I just want to tell my side because he did some weird shit like that and gonna literally tell me like if he was get, got caught doing something, he gonna lie and say I was doing something too. Like you don't tell nobody like that, something like that that literally got your back. if. If you was doing some shit and you gotta get bumped, like I'm gonna be the one on the outside having to help you, like why you locked up? Why would you? I don't know, he's just yeah, a weird eyes, individual. That's, that's just I don't like, need to see no paperwork now. It's, <laughs> I don't need to see no paperwork. Yeah. Like, like and I, honestly, didn't care. Like I didn't. That's how, care. That's how I was with the situation. Yeah, I know. I could tell you didn't care. I could. I could. I could feel your genuineness, like through the interview. I had noticed in one of the interviews, he said like y'all marriage was like a favor or something. Can you break that down? Man, no. 